Okay guys, so today we are having to do a kind of roof job, kind of. <laughs> so yesterday I, we came home after I went and seen the doctor over my neck and I'm still out of work. And um, anyway, so we were, it was a real bad storm. It just poured. It poured here. It poured at the doctor's office. It was just pouring. So I get home, going to make my supper, did all that, went into the bedroom, and went over to the corner, and I'm standing in water. I thought it was Bruno, and I blamed him first. I thought he made a mistake, and it wasn't him at all. It was water. So, anyways, I got a clip of it. We'll show you what has happened. And I'm going to show you what Shea Bear is doing right now. So, this is what we're doing. We're having to put up a tarp. We found a hole in the roof. And we knew it was soft and we knew it was getting there. This is an old roof. This is the original roof on here. And uh, my dilemma was to, when I got my money from my four-year car accident, that I was going to, one, have to put a roof on the house or buy a car. So we had to buy a car because we can't all fit in that. It's got over a million, half a million miles in here. So, you know, it's chugging, it's got issues and it needs some work so we had to buy the car we had no choice so and at the time i bought the car it wasn't leaking the roof was not leaking uh, i'd say maybe three weeks ago we saw a uh we had a rainstorm and in my mother's sp in the spare bedroom that my mom's staying in in the corner that's connected to my bedroom it had a little bit of rain spots so you know we thought there's some plants that are growing up here because Shea Bear's not really supposed to do this he's not supposed to get up here he's not you know I can't go up there I go up there I'm gonna break my damn neck you know I, I have and with my neck and that I can't do it I just can't get up there and he's not really supposed to be up there because of his heart so, anyways, this is what we've done. And, uh, we put the tarp up. About, I think it's about a month ago or something, our buddy came over and he sprayed off the, uh, that was Shea Bear, um, sprayed off the roof for us. He got up there and did that. Well, we think that he might have stepped in the soft spot that had, because it looks like a footprint. There was no tree limb up there or nothing. And so um, that's what we think. And um, we haven't seen him since. So um, yeah, we think that maybe he stepped in it accidentally. And I mean, you know, accidents happen. And, um, you know, I don't know why he didn't tell us. Or he just didn't realize I would think he would have but um, he didn't so now the house is leaking inside so we're in big trouble and do I have the money to pay for this no I don't so and I'm out of work I'm not allowed to work right now because of my neck and my back now I have to go see a neurologist because my pain is not going away it gets better but it comes back and and stuff so um yeah so we'll see what happens on that one anyways that's where we are and there's shea bear up there waving killing himself trying to get this tarp up we bought this tarp at walmart it was the biggest one they had which is really kind of a little bit too big but at the same time it's doing half the house so it's covering a whole side and see this tree here needs to go which i don't have the money for either and i want five what was it 500 to cut it down so i really don't have it right now so 
Um, yeah, so as soon as I can, we'll be getting a new roof. We'll have no choice. But this has been a great roof. I can't complain. I've had the house six years, and, the, and this roof is the original roof. And everybody in this block has pretty much replaced a roof. I've seen about four of them uh, last year that replaced them. But they put tin down, and I'm just well, going to... got together all these yeah. roofs were original on the Yeah, houses. yeah, Except so... That yeah, across the road. Yeah, house was built in the 50s, maybe 60s. Yeah, it could have been the first house here. On this street. All these other ones, like yours, and they're all cookie cutter. Yeah, yeah. There's some subtle differences, but they're all pretty much the same. Yeah. That one's different. I think that was probably pretty much the same, but it's been built wrong. Yeah, well, yeah, she did that. Yeah. Yeah, so, she told me. Yeah. The house next door to me. Yeah. In the 90s, they came through, bought a bunch of land, and started building houses. Yeah. I think this was in 94, I think. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. So, it's been a long time with a uh, one roof. And this heat and the sun, we've had a lot of rain this year. Tons of rain. Well, the problem is, so. that, that end of the house don't dry. No. It's always in the shade. Yeah. Which is bad. Really I mean, bad. This is solid up through here. It dries. Yeah. Yeah. That never dries. All right. So... I do have the picture he took of the hole, so I'll put it with the video so you can see. Anyways, he's just going to tie it off for now. And I talked to somebody this morning about giving us estimates. At least we'll know how much it is. Um, give us a ballpark so we know what we have to do. I don't know what we're going to do, really. But we'll come up with something. Yeah, 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 try to get rid of the vet, maybe. Mom already said sell that vet and put a roof on. Yep. Wouldn't be any different. No, mm -mm. no, because we wouldn't use the money for it anyways. Yeah, that's what I yeah. just said. Mom already said sell the vet and put a roof on this house. Yeah. She said that months ago. Yep. So, anyways, that's what's happened to us today. Always something. Never a dull moment. That's why it happens, because you always say always something. Karma says, oh, really? You want some more? Yeah. I look at it this way. It's a roof. Yeah. You know, it could be worse. Yep. It could be. You know, you could have a have a wall sagging. Yeah. And you're talking 20 grand. Yeah. So, I've seen quite a few roofs. Um, Last week we went some. Where were we? We went somewhere last week. And I seen about two or three roofs with tarps on them. Well, I think they're all. Um, well, they were getting them done, but the rain came. Yeah. So they had to tarp them off. Yeah, that one down the road here, they did it in the rain. They were doing it as it was raining. Yeah. yeah but they didn't have much more to do. No. They had like eight or ten guys, man. They probably whacked that out in forty-five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But those bigger houses we saw, there, that wasn't going to happen. No. No. This thing. Eight or nine guys. It'd be the done whole, in a day. The whole job. Mm -hmm. Probably two days. You think? Because the sheeting it needs to be replaced. Yeah. But you get two guys up here. I know when I subcontracted for Scott and Todd. Mm -hmm. I could do a, a roof this size by myself stripping it. Mm -hmm. And all the nails and staples and whatnot out of it in one day by myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, we'll let you know what happens with the roof when we can. <laughs> but, we had to have a car. So. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know the roof was that bad. No, we didn't know there was a hole up there. I mean, I knew it was, going, it was starting to leak. But I just thought, lift some of them shingles up, put some blackjack down, get us by a few months. I didn't know there was a fucking hole that big around. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, that truck, we don't, the problem was, we, we wouldn't have bought that car if we had something else to drive around while I fixed the truck. Right. But we had no choice. No, we didn't. And I had to have something for the three of us to go in, in it. 
so and stuff so but had i known the roof was that bad you know we could at least got them come in fix that in right and bought a cheaper vehicle yeah but you know you don't know no you don't it wasn't leaking that bad no mm -mm. but we had that monsoon rain last night so. oh that was horrible horrible pour down buckets yeah and it didn't stop we did that here for an hour and a half straight. Yeah. Yeah, it was so horrible. This will be fine because it's overboard. It's that end of the house. Right. Down towards the bottom. Yeah. So it would have to blow pretty hard to get back in there to leak. Oh, I got to come down for a minute. All right. So that concludes what, what happened. So anyways, you'll have to leak. Yeah, it's a leak. And... At least it wasn't in the garage, thank God. Really? Yeah, I got tools in there. So you don't care about the bed getting wet? Oh, it does. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Just kidding. No, she's not. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for now. I'll let you know what happens with the roof as soon as I can. I don't know what we're going to do for money, but we'll figure it out. Maybe we can trade with the Corvette. I what might be. said these windows were covered up? The back windows. These windows. They were when you had it the other way. When you turned it this way, no. Yeah, but then the roof, but then the roof wasn't covered. Right. I need the roof covered. Well, the roof is covered now. <laughs> All right. I got to go help him. So, I can say she's out for now, y'all. Bye. I am waving. Bye.